Hi Taurus, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-November general reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Taurus, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Taurus, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Taurus, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Taurus, how are y'all doing? Thanks again for being here. Again, this is your mid-November general reading. We'll be doing a Celtic cross today. All right, we've got one more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Again, for mid-November, we're still in Scorpio season, and we just had the new moon in Scorpio. All right, my loves, Taurus at the bottom of the deck. You have the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with a uh, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius for some of you. Um, it looks like there's a conversation here. Four of Wands, King of Cups. Uh, Princess of Wands, Two of Cups. Seems to be some type of conversation that you need to have with somebody. Four of Wands about a commitment, maybe a relationship you're in. Um, you and a friend might be doing something together. I'm feeling like you're asking this person, are you sure you're in this? Are you sure, are you sure you're committed? Or someone could be asking you, um, are you sure you want to commit to this? Are you, are you with us? Are you in the group? Are you in the team? Because Two of Cups, there's some type of duo collaboration going on here. Um, I'm getting a little bit of suspicious energy. Like you might be suspicious um, of somebody. Okay. All right, Celtic Cross. Let's see what's going on. Current energy, current situation. Wow, Queen of Cups came right out. That's my relationship card or one of them. King and Queen of Cups are my relationship cards. So a lot of you could be in a relationship or maybe getting into one or deepening one. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be dealing with a water sign for a lot of you. This is very beautiful energy um, with the Four of Pentacles and Justice. Yeah, some of y'all might have uh, come into a relationship recently or redefined the terms um, after some type of ending or transformation. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're like in your feels, you're feeling very loving, romantic. Um, I've heard the word hopeful. And what's crossing this for Taurus? What's crossing Taurus here? All right, so we have Justice, card of Libra, and the World card. Yeah, for some of you, you're not sure if you want to stay in this relationship, stay in a creative situation that you're in. Yeah, because Justice talks about fairness and balance, and with the World card, the Fool card, wow, Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. You have your eye on the prize for sure, but I feel like you want to close out some type of cycle of, is this okay? Is this fair? Is it not fair? Um, for some of you, you're not sure if you want to stay in a connection or if you're interested in someone, um, that type of thing. You're like, I don't know. Could we be more official? That type of thing as well. Some of you want to make like a create something that you do creatively. Some of you want to make it um, like a business or you want to do something more with it. Okay. Let's move on. What's your focus? The King of Cups almost came out. That's funny. What's your focus? Uh, Chariot and the Moon, Two of Cups, lots of water. Um... Two of Cups, nine, lots of water. Some of y'all are like in your feels, in love, uh, getting deep with someone. It doesn't have to even be romantic. Maybe like you and your best friend like cry together a lot and like hold hands and talk things out. Like I love that. You are, you are, a lot of you want to move out of um, any kind of secrets, anything that's like being hidden under the surface. You want it to come to light here. Your focus, Two of Cups, I feel like is how you feel about someone and how they feel about you. 
Well, it's been in the recent past for Taurus. Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. Yeah, there's some type of divinely guided um, offer. Gemini for some of you and Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, the offer was for you. Nine of Wands. I feel like you were getting really tired, burnt out, fed up in with a person or in your situation, Taurus. Um, but the lovers talked about a divinely guided opportunity. So for a lot of you, you got a divinely guided job opportunity or someone in your life uh, made themselves know that they want to invest. They want to be here for real. Okay. They're showing me a wall being broken down. Someone might have like gotten through to you or you might have gotten through to somebody. Someone had, a, someone had a wall up that needed to be taken down. Like there's a brick wall in the Ace of Pentacles. And she, in the lover's card, the femme, she's actually pointing to something. Like, well, what is she pointing to? And they said the brick wall that crumbled. So like I said, so maybe your walls were up towards somebody. I'm not sure. And that person got your walls down or vice versa. Like that's the vibe I'm getting. What's crowning Taurus? The Three of Wands, beautiful energy, King of Swords. Uh, you're focused on, or I'm sorry, you're in your crowning energy. You know, you you're not really in a hurry. I'm getting the energy of like, no one's gonna rush me. Yeah, I might need to do this. Yeah, I might need to catch up on that, but no one's gonna rush me. Like I'm feeling an energy, but like not in a cocky way. You're just like, I'm just doing me. Like, and, and, and again, it's like in a very beautiful way. You might be playing catch up a little bit, um, having conver, but like conversations too. I feel like there might've been like, oh, I needed to call this person or, oh yeah, I needed to send that email. Like, I feel like you're doing that kind of thing as well. Playing a little bit of catch up communication wise. Near future for Taurus, please. Wish fulfillment, nine of cups. Definitely something that you want is coming in. Looks like two people here, three of pentacles. You and someone might be building or rebuilding something. Six of cups, this would be a soulmate. Let me see you. Thank you, spirit. How is Taurus showing up? Winner, winner. You have the six of wands and the hangman. Uh, I feel like you see your strength. You see what you're capable of is what I'm getting. You can see you. You can see that you can get through something. You can get through conflict. You can get through a challenge. You can get through moon card. You can get through fears, like that type of thing, okay? You're feeling very, very proud of yourself. Well, accomplished. I'm hearing the word productive. Maybe you've been really productive recently or going to continue to be productive. Yeah, Hangman, Ten of Wands. I feel like there's a couple things that you almost wanted to give up on, but you really are focused on them. And Three of Wands, but you're taking your time. Like there's an energy of like, I'm not going to rush. I'm going to get to it to when I can. And as you accomplish and check one thing off your list at a time, you're like, look at me. I feel so good. Yes. What's hidden from you? High Priestess, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups. Um, someone's confused about how they feel about you. Or someone's hiding their emotions about how, how much they feel towards you. Ten of Cups. Like, I feel like someone sees you as their Ten of Cups, Taurus. As, I want to be part of Taurus's family, their romantic partner. I want to be in their, their community, their friend. Um, that type of thing. But yeah, what's hidden for me is I feel like this is somebody who hides how they really feel about you. Like, I feel like they, they, they feel mixed ways about you. Or that could be an unknown thing about yourself. Realizing one day I might feel like this about this person. And the next day I kind of feel like this about this person or situation. And that's okay. All right, what are your hopes and fears? Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. You just want to know the truth. You don't want to be lied to. I mean, who 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 does? And Queen of Pentacles. Um, you want to know the truth. You you also want to make sure. Um, I'm hearing like healthy boundaries. Everything is well established. Um, I'm hearing the word safe place. You want to know that you're in a safe place 
in your situation, at your job, with a person, that type of thing. What's your outcome, Taurus? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. This feels good over here. Three of Swords is pain, heartbreak, grieving. Um, so maybe something you find out might, um, might sting a little, might hurt a little. Um, but you are going to be very Queen of Wands about it. For, you're going to be committed to yourself for sure. Uh, you might have a little glow up. Uh, King of Cups is also behind you. I feel like I feel like a lot of you, if you get some bad news about something, you might have a King of Cups, a very strong emotional support system, like a really um, you know good friend around for support. Maybe you have a romantic partner to help you through if you find out some whatever is going on with the Three of Swords. I never predict death or anything like that. This would be uh, something else then. It would never, ever be anything like that. I, and just real quick about that, like um, some people like, oh, tarot, it's like fortune telling. I'm like, that's an old wives tale to me. Um, to me, tarot is me telling you something that you already know. Like everything, like, and, and, and that's what this is about. Like if, if what I say doesn't resonate, it's not your message and that's okay. You know, um, but usually when I'm, I'm doing a reading, um, if it resonates, it's because you already know what I'm talking about. And then because I'm a stranger online, you're like, well, you know, has to hit then. Anyways, I don't know why we went through that. I've already pre-shuffled and cut your clarification deck. Um, bottom of the deck, just to save some time, five of pentacles, five of wands, two of pentacles, um, high priestess, hangman, death, whoa, hermit. A lot of y'all seem like you're in two places. I don't know how to, s you feel like you're in two places, but also nowhere at all. I don't know how else to say that. I feel for a lot of you, you don't feel at home. You don't feel comfortable in a certain uh, situation that you're in, a relationship, a friend group, a job scenario. There seems to be a lot of drama there and that overwhelms you. I feel like you, you get quiet and pull away from it. Um, from time to time, like I feel a strong, like avoidant energy from you now. Like you're just trying to avoid a couple of things. All right, let's go back to the beginning. What's up with this queen of cups, current energy, relationship, love, connections, romance, um, very social energy too. Lots of friends, very creative energy. I'm seeing like uh, wardrobe stuff, hair, cool hairstyles. Uh, cool makeup looks. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Taurus? Why is this their current energy? We have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Magician. Uh, and temperance. I actually feel like if you're in a connection or relationship, it started fast and it's starting to slow down. Like things might have moved, gotten hot and heavy quick, or y'all might have met quick and a lot happened, and now it's just like you're you're getting into more of a steady pace with it. What's up with this Queen of Cups for Taurus, please? We have the tower and the eight of cups. What's the tower? The devil, the six of cups, the king of cups. Some of you might be leaving a connection, leaving a relationship, uh, or maybe your person is or wanting to. Um, because Eight of Cups is a desire to, to, to move on, that this is not enough for you. So a lot of you might be in a relationship um, or around a friend group or in a creative outlet situation. And you're like, this is fun. This is cool, but it's not everything. Okay. That's what I'm getting from y'all. Justice. I feel like you're trying to do what's fair and what's right. 
but it's hard. What is justice about for Taurus, please? Devil again. Yeah, someone's living in fear. So we have the Hermit here, uh, Virgo's card, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then we have Capricorn's card, the Devil. All right, and we have the Three of Swords. I'm feeling like for a lot of you, whatever your situation is, um, it tends to be very toxic. Like devil energy is like very codependent. Like if you're in a relationship, you might be attached at the hip with this person. There might be an addiction, that type of thing. Um, yeah, and with the hermit here too, I feel for some of you, you do just want like alone time. Like you want to be alone or you need some like downtime, quiet time. I'm hearing like pushing the envelope. A lot of you are really pushing the envelope. Why the devil? Knight of Wands, the moon card, judgment. Yeah, for a lot of you, like I, I'm just getting a lot of like third party. Like I'd rather date this person than be where I'm at. I'd rather uh, be at this other job than where I'm at now. Like so a lot of you still want some type of options in your situation instead of being so tied down to something is the vibe that i'm getting okay all right your focus is the chariot card of cancer why is this the focus yeah it's a change of perspective after some type of enlightenment you're going to have to make some type of a uh, tough decision to a tough call you're going to have to do something like outside of your comfort zone, if you will. Uh, the moon, why are you focused on the moon? The moon has things hidden here. Uh, the moon again and the two of pentacles. Why two moons? Ace of pentacles, nine of swords. I'm getting a lot of assumption energy. I'm hearing my what my dad would always tell me. Um, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. A-S-S-U-M-E. You make an ass out of you and me. Like, a lot of you, like, I'm getting foot and mouth, ass ass assumption energy. Like, some of y'all could assume something bad about somebody, um, that type of thing. And make a decision but it might be the wrong assumption yeah a lot of you are trying to like dig deep and find out what's really going on with somebody or in a situation um you feel like someone's keeping a secret from you or keeping something hidden but actually whatever this is it's, it's a lesson it's some type of lesson so i almost want to say like if you're suspicious of something i'm not guaranteeing that you're wrong but i feel like that's the lesson is to not assume something bad about somebody like, I'm also getting the energy of, like, don't read a book by its cover. Like, that kind of thing. Okay, what's the Ace of Pentacles in the recent past? This was some type of gift, opportunity, money. Okay, yeah, it was a, 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 fresh, a fresh chance, a new chance at something. Something new. And then why the lovers for Taurus recent past? Card of Gemini. Three of Wands, Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, Four of Wands. Yeah, someone was tired of waiting for you or looking at their options. So they sent you a message about union and commitment, um, or that could be vice versa. So I do feel like this is someone who might have kept you at a distance in the past, made you an option, put you on the back burner kind of thing. Um, it doesn't seem like the grass was greener anywhere or that there was even grass anywhere else but where you are. Um, but Page of Swords, Lovers... Uh, I feel like this person um, reached out. It's a message. Um, Four of Wands. I want to be with you. I want to commit to you in work, in relationship, in family. And it probably came with some type of 
uh, financial, like King of Cups, Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. Um, for some of you, financial, like a job, or again, if it's a person, it's like someone really is invested in you in a relationship. All right, why is the Three of Wands crowning you? You're not in a hurry. Like, that's what I'm getting. You're like, I'll get to it when I get to it. Seven of Wands. Y'all are funny. Yeah, Seven of Wands, Star Card, Aquarius is energy. Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, the Lover's Card. Yeah, a lot of you have put off some, like, maybe big dreams or big goals um, that you're trying to accomplish. Because there's like some type of connection that you're that you're in right now. Like a lot of you like say, say you're like in a honeymoon phase of a relationship. Well, you may you're like, well, yeah, I haven't returned my friend's phone call or I haven't, um, you know, seen my mom in a couple weeks or like, um, yeah, I pushed off this one other thing. Like you're, you've pushed back a couple things because of a connection for a lot of you. Why the seven of swords, temperance, eight of pentacles, um, ace of pentacles. Some of y'all might be lying about like how much money you have, or like if you have like big savings or something like that, um, people might be hitting that up, hitting you up for that. And you're like, oh no, I don't have it when really you do. And there's no right or wrong. Like you're, but you're, you're being, you're doing you a hundred percent in the way that you want to. And I love that for you. What's this wish fulfillment in the near future? The nine of cups. It looks like the ten of cups, but it's the nine because there's, there's two people here. All right. What's this nine of cups coming in for Taurus, please? Knight of swords. It's a message. King of cups. Two of Wands. I'm getting like a don't go. Like if you if you're suspicious, of, that's what I'm getting too. Like some of y'all might be making a, one step too quick. Like if you're scared that someone's doing you wrong, you might quit or leave or walk away before you give that person the benefit of the doubt type of thing because i'm seeing someone say what are you doing don't leave what are you doing don't leave knight of swords the message i love you i care for you i'm here for you king of cups could be a water sign two of wands um someone wants to take that next step with you okay start a business move in together start traveling um become an item shit i don't know but someone, someone's like operating out of fear. Like someone's being very scared here. And when we do that, we make not the best judgment calls. And that's what I'm saying. Sometimes when we don't make the best judgment calls that can delay a great relationship or that can delay a great something that's going on when we stay living in that fear base. Okay. Okay. Okay, why are you the six of wands? Very accomplished energy. Um, it's a victory. It's you feeling good about everything that you've you've accomplished. Why is Taurus the six of wands, please? The six of wands again. You're proud of yourself and others are proud of you. Like it's a win-win. That's what I'm getting. Ten of cups. You did it. You did it. World card. Like I feel like you've brought like people together here. You've gotten through some conflict resolution. The emperor, some of you are the boss now. Um, some of you have matured up and you're like, I don't want to play games or have options. I want to step it up and be in a relationship or I don't want to have, you know, inconsistent jobs and hop around from this job to this job. I'm going to start my own business or I'm going to, I'm going to go for that management position and stay with this company. It's like a win-win. It's like employee of the month, family's happy for you. Um, why the double six of wands, nine of wands, ch uh, chariot, high priestess? Yeah, a lot of you, you're showing up differently. The way that you used to behave or act when you would get triggered, upset, whatever your situation is, you're, you're, you're showing up better. You're showing up in a more truly authentic and healthier way. And it doesn't matter what age you are. It's you, you've, you're handling it way better. Very good. All right, let's look at your hidden energy, High Priestess, Seven of Cups. Someone's hiding their 
mixed feelings about you, basically. What's the High Priestess about? Yeah, Eight of Cups, Sun card. That's someone who um, maybe walked away from you or you walked away from them. Okay, why the Seven of Cups? Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Four of Swords, King of Swords. Yeah, this person I feel like is confused um, on how they feel about you or how you feel about them. Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Four of Swords, King of Swords, Swords and the Empress. Why the Knight of Cups? Yeah, they have a lot of feelings for you, but they're not sure if you if you feel the same way. So they kind of like might be playing small slash hard to get right now. I don't really love that, but I feel like this person's being either like I think you're almost mirroring somebody. Like you're doing something out of fear and say being avoidant, and this person's maybe being. Um, you know, clingy, for example, or vice versa. All right, let's look at your hopes and fears, the Ace of Swords. Why is that here for Taurus? What's up with this Ace of Swords? It's about knowing the truth, right? Six of Cups, High Priestess, Queen of Swords. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're hoping that someone... Um, is maybe over their childhood trauma. Maybe you are wanting uh, someone you're in a relationship with. Maybe they didn't want kids and now they do. Maybe you didn't want children and now you do. Or vice versa. Sun card, seven of pentacles. I feel like you're leaning towards, I want to, to grow in this situation, but I don't want to get hurt again. Someone that you're around reminds you of somebody else, and that's also triggering for you as well. Empress, Three of Cups. Someone might remind you of your mother or your aunt or a father figure or something like that. Let's look at your outcome, Three of Swords. This is one of the most painful cards, so I'm not, I don't love that this is your outcome, to be honest. So we got to look at it. I'm not just going to, you can't just change it. Uh, why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus? Why is this the outcome? Can I get one more? Okay. It's actually not really about you. It's actually other people. So we have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Cups, I wanted to get one more. The Five of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, the King of Pentacles, you, Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords. Can I see your Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands? A lot of you are going to be a heartbreaker. You're going to be turning a lot of other people down because you're like, choosing a person in a relationship so it's a no to everyone else who's who's been around you or that type of thing it's because you're you're choosing yourself nine of cups whatever would make you happy in this situation and maybe it's picking nobody and picking yourself you know i i like that also for you um it could be like hey i'm picking the um the creative outlet fam partner does it maybe pay as much because I want to go be in a band or be doing music or whatever instead of my nine to five I'm going to do what makes me happy is it going to cause conflict is your decision at the end of the day going to cause conflict with other people yes it's three of swords other people are going to realize that you're happy now because you're choosing you a lot of people who try to like Knight of Wands, like play the field with you, be around for the good times, but not around for the hard times. Like they're realizing that they missed out on a great person, a great friend, a great lover, a great romance, a great family member, whoever.
Yeah, four of cups. Like you're you're being missed now. People people miss you now. Okay. Yeah, I was like, let me see you. Let me see you. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. You're good. You're on fire. You're feeling great. I feel like you've left other people out in the dust. For real. Like you're very, very proud of yourself. And I'm proud of y'all too. All right. Uh that was quite an intense message there, Taurus. Y'all know I love you. Let's do your pick a card. And those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Taurus that won the pick a card this time is Eric Tessin. Eric, you are my winner. Okay, so Taurus, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time it might be you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for everything. Um, I will see y'all in the love reading next time. All right, Eric, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. We've got one more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Eric? All right, love, you have the four of cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, some Something's about to grab your attention, a new person, a new friend, like someone new is about to enter the room, if you will. Ooh, queen of cups. It could be someone that you could be in a relationship with. Yeah, things are about to change for you emotionally. Eric. Queen of Cups came out. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's a new beginning with uh, some type of connection. Could be a friend. It feels a little bit more romantic with the Queen of Cups. Ace of Wands. So there's going to be something new and exciting there. Someone might, you might actually be at a distance from somebody and they might be coming into town or you're going to their town. Eric. Spirit, what does Eric need to know? Full card, this will be a whole new journey. Page of Swords. Ooh, we have the Moon card, Pisces, Cancer, Energy, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's someone new coming in um, and you're not sure if you want to maybe go next level and like date or be official, that type of thing with this person, for example. Um, or if you want to, you might still have some like other options or people that you're talking to, some things under the surface. So I feel like you're not really sure which way to go um, because I really feel like you don't even know how you really feel yet. There's definitely a new adventure. You have the full card and the Ace of Wands. Something new and exciting is coming with a person, with a cup, okay? Um, a new experience, a new person altogether. Um, if you're in a relationship already, I feel like this is like a new exciting chapter between the two of you. All right, let's get some clarifiers here and talk about this. What's this Queen of Cups for Eric, please? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Uh, Emperor in the Ten of Cups. Oh my God, Five of Wands. This is beautiful. You might have met this person at work. Um, could be dealing with an Aries or a water sign here. This is beautiful. It seems like you are in a happy connection. Okay. Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands for Eric? Uh, Hangman, King of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're in a relationship and you're and you've met someone new or it's like it, like for example, maybe like a father figure or a boss that you are close to, they're like, "Hey, I'm married, but I met someone the other night." Whoops. So yeah, it feels a little a uh, sneaky. Why the full card for Eric? The Four of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. I 
I feel like you're going for whatever the new thing is. You're going to go for whatever the new thing is. You see potential. What's the page of swords? What's the message? King of cups, eight of pentacles. Um, you might be telling someone, hey, I'm working overtime or working late. That type of thing. Or I really feel like you are also working on your, your emotional, um, emotional health. Like you might be going to therapy or counseling or something like that. You also could be working on how you want to express your love towards somebody. Yeah, I, that's what I feel. Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're you're trying to figure out what to say to this person and how you're going to say it. Why the moon? We have the Hermit and the Four of Wands. And then why the Two of Swords? For Eric, please. Let's get two. Yeah, you have, I think you have two people going on type of thing or two situations. Um, you don't know which one to do. One seems new and fresh and young and all that. And the other one would be um, picking up the pieces in the connection and rebuilding it. Yeah, you've got, you've got some big decisions to make here, my friend. All right, love, I hope this helps. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reader next time. Bye.